Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between Razor Moon and Duck. This game taking place here on Eversong. It is a Night Elf versus Undead matchup. Gonna quickly just speed our way to this to the eight minute mark of this match, trying to figure out what the heroes are going to be. Undead Duck gonna be going for well a Death Knight. No big surprise there. Going up against a Warden first. So a Warden first here on Eversong. Warden has not been a popular hero as of late. So I am curious as to as Razor Moon's strategies and plan for this Warden. A legend for sure. I watch her videos on YouTube. Well, thank you for everyone who watch my videos on YouTube. It definitely, definitely does help me out. Um, support the channel watching with ads all of the all of those things and really definitely am um, helping me out now ever song a rather i gotta say a rather busy map it's it, it almost feels like it wasn't quite sure what tile set to use there's like that classic no wood tile set but then there's also these gates and these cities and these also these tropical flowers as well so really bringing in a lot of the assets and the doodads um, warcraft 3 map makers having a bit of fun obviously here as the warden looking to perhaps do a, a bit of harassment play but unable to um, well, harass all that much has not chosen fan of knives or shadow strike yet as that first ability off to the north we can see another ancient of war being built by razor moon and this is going to be interesting in that it will be able to clear out this goblin laboratory creep camp as well um, and with two ancients of war well really well increase that production you are the og since the days of when you were wow since the days of my league of legends videos um yeah try to get into league of legends just a bit too old um, the twitch twitch reflections and all of that not working out all that well um level two now on the warden picking up a tome of strength and now looking to back away oh yeah i remember playing playing league of legends way 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 back in the day moba just trying trying to have have fun with it and well it's i, I don't know it's just so much so much to toxic culture um, in so many games out there laughing at your opponent right like like if you enjoy the community enjoy the game right like it's one thing to trash talk your friend on a basketball court when you when you beat him because you know you have that relationship there and you're in person but to to do it against someone you know that that's just that's just not nice Anyways, coming back around here, we are looking at this Ziggurat. It may try to get pressured here. Um, you can see that this Voidwalker, who, who gets the final shot? Warden gets the final kill right there, gets the experience. And now going after some of those ghouls. Archers, however, taking a little bit of damage as well. Warden unable to really close in on that distance. Ghoul, one or two more shots should finish it off. One more arrow. Is the Warden going to be able to close in on that distance? Unable to, but gets the Shadow Strike instead as... I'm sure he would probably, or she would probably not use the mana, but still getting the job done. Oh, then you didn't check the 4v4 community on W3 champ. Oh, well, I've played... Well, the, the reason why there is such a large, uh, or such a large disparity in, in Warcraft 3 is the player base is actually rather small. And I, I got to admit that the player base in Warcraft 3 is unfortunately small. And because of that, um, in a 4v4 matchup, you have really, really, really strong semi-pro players playing alongside, well, your average Joe. So um, it, it would be like me trying to play baseball with Mike Trout and Mike Trout coming up to me like, you're not pulling your weight. You, you're you're on this team and then all i can do is i can look at him and go like yeah you're right i'm i'm older i'm slower i'm not as good what what more do you want from me anyways coming back around here razor moon gonna be tanking quite some of that damage with that ancient of war goblin shredder hired from that goblin laboratory a great great play here to clear out what would normally be a difficult creep camp no staff of preservation however to bring that goblin shredder straight back home level two shadow strike now onto that death knight detonation on across those units they're not quite sure what the detonation was for as we're going to be looking at these little hermit crabs quickly getting taken down all right shredder should be able to make his way back down or is this a scroll of town portal yes scroll of town portal and this is to bring everyone back home quickly 
as we are also looking at a tree of life looking to set up an expansion over here on the bottom left this little gateway um, this, uh, essentially almost like destructible rocks in starcraft 2 to gain access to your fast expansion um nicely done and nicely designed the map makers here as the warden is taking quite a bit of damage has to be careful down to 84 damage here and now going to try and retreat back you can see the ogre magi joining in on the battle goblin shredder right there oh warden isn't going to be taking that damage no absorbed up all by this goblin shredder claws of attack plus nine on that warden warden going to try and heal back up as well moonwells um, a near well pretty much full as the time of day 508 trying to drain as much of those moon wells as possible in order to fill them back up all right there you are there we go ready to move on out it's unfortunate how toxic a lot of online game communities are small but fine though i want more cast from crota simple as that all right well um I'm, well, you're getting one right now it's like right what, what more can i give you than give you what you have right now all right quick death coil across below hit point wisp we're looking at the entangled gold mine about to get shut down here as it is well considered to have no armor type taking the full damage from those gargoyles as the gargoyles easily picking apart this coming back down to the south side here warden looking to finish off some of those death knights we can see that there are a, a handful of archers here to try and finish things off level four now on that warden warden does have level two blink another archer gets taken down so the death knight with those skeletal minions clearing up the archers archers need to clear up the gargoyles but the gargoyles simply have too many hit points and well never mind take it back one gargoyle getting shot down out of the sky warden needs to find a way to pick up that orb of venom there goes another death coil there and some beautiful ba beautiful play by duck getting in some timely timely death coils onto low hit point archers finishing them off to rack up and gain more experience all right all right the gargoyles here continuing to put in a pressure on this entangled gold mine preventing the expansion from getting underway meanwhile duck does have an expansion off to the north which he has been able to freely mine from as well there's so much going on in this map here, but the fight mainly staying down to the south side here. Warden does have a potion of mana. Could blink in front, get some shadow strike damage. Are we going to see some more damage racked up? There's a shadow strike onto a gargoyle. I guess a departing gift as that gargoyle now retreats back. Meanwhile, dryads are now in position. The slow poison, very critical as that uh, makes the hit and run tactics of those gargoyles a little bit less deadly actually i wish you could play with us in 4v4 um you know well i'd, I'd have to do some what i'd have to retrain back up I, I tried i tried playing some 3v3s and 4v4s and boy were my about boy were my muscles and my muscle memory just simply not there um i, I do admit that um but who knows maybe i will try a 4v4 just to um just to see what it's like not as harsh as some folks might think. Um, I don't know, with a name like Harsh Pickle. Come back through. Death Knight clearing up this creep camp here. Lich on the board with some experience. And will not be able to get to level 2. Death Knight will not be able to get to level 4. At least I don't believe... Well, there was one more creep there. Is it going to be enough? Nope, not going to be enough here. Lich just shy of level 2. Death Knight just shy of level 4. But that is going to open things up for those well, very, very powerful double level ups. Now, Warden, interestingly enough, could at some point switch to Fan of Knives. We do also see the Panda with... Um, breath oh no with drunken haze first we know that it will eventually transition into breath of fire to help deal with those gargoyles who do tend to clump up together a lot level four level two on that death knight and lich now as the ghoul is trying to get away a little bit of damage getting racked up on all of these sappers potion of greater healing left behind here so death knight not in danger of falling anytime soon all right a lot of interesting creep camps here meanwhile the warden um, has uh, well has claws of attack plus nine uh, boots of speed and staff of teleportation no way to attack those air units as of yet as the undead army well quick shadow strike finishing off that goblin sapper right there which was attempting to take down this tree of life all right staff of teleportation inbound from that warden beautiful play making it look like a scroll of town portal 
um, as a preemptive measure. And well, Duck now being forced to retreat back out. All of all of these demonic gates. I wish you could click on the demonic gate and actually see how many hit points it was to know how much time it would take to destroy. Seeing pandas takes me back to release of Miss of Pandaria. Yeah, I remember that as well. Um, as the warden now looking to back up again. I had better micro in 2000, but now I just share my units with Yumiko and let the <laughs> OGs carry me like a heavy potato pack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Like, wait a second. Oh, I see a pro player. Okay. you, can, you Yeah, just like, I'll, I'll, I'll just macro. Just give my units to you. All right. Coming back around, Rogue gonna get cleaned up here. Rogue Wizard gonna get um, gonna get followed up as well. Meanwhile, Gargoyles going after some of these fell beasts here. Lich getting closer to level three. Death Coil healing up that Lich back up to full. As we are looking at Dryads and Archers um, with a nearly level three Panda as well. There's that Tome of Retraining, which I was totally suspecting, waiting for perhaps a transition into Fan of Knives. Moonwells do not have. Um, the well, the increased Moonwell um, upgrade as the undead now duck clearing out this top right creep camp. This fell ravager will get level three onto that um, onto that lich and get that much closer to level five on that death knight. As the gargoyles are just going to town here, I would have thought the fell ravager would have had access to some mana burn, trying to mana burn down some of these targets. Don't see that just quite yet. Death Knight sitting at level 4, um, Potion of Healing also on that Lich, so some very strong items for the Undead, making it difficult to finish off any of those units. Alright, coming back around, uh, it, well, it wasn't 12 years ago, right? Like, it can't be 12 years ago. Oh my gosh, if it was, that would be very, um, wow, complete. Um, complete, complete going on. Um, we are on, yeah, Eversong is is a map that has a lot going on on it. Um, also, um, my mind's still trying to wrap my head around what I'm seeing. There's these narrow gateways. I mean, it's it, it almost feels like an experimental map to try and see what can be adopted into the Warcraft 3 community. Um, but the addition of all of the, all of the doodads um, actually feels like it's taken away from the focus on what I focus of the gameplay um, in high level games um, I do like the I do like the demonic gates trying to control access early on things of that nature where it where you can build an expansion or set an expansion close on the mini map but if you put it behind a demonic gate it takes a little bit longer to get there and and reinforcements take longer thereby um, while well, opening up gameplay a little bit more. So yeah, this gateway, this gate right here, and I'm assuming a similar gate off over here, but this gate has yet to be destroyed, oddly enough. Coming back around, Dryad's gonna clear up the Vile Temptress Creep Camp here. Level four on the Warden, level three on that Brewmaster. Brewmaster does have that level two Breath of Fire. Gonna be picking up that Ring of Protection plus four and that Tome of Intelligence. <coughs> All right, coming coming back through gargoyles. Well, see the, the like yeah, there, there's yeah, there's just a lot of a, a lot going on 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 the map, right? Like these additional towers, like these additional towers here. Yeah. It, it seems like there's a, there's a lot going on 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 the map that could actually be just distracting. If um, I would hate to see what this map looks like in in actual Warcraft Three Reforged graphics with even more happening on the map and things getting a little bit a, a little bit confusing as well. It's sad to see what Blizzard has become and a lot of the other AAA developers. Well, at at some point, like. Small companies, small companies can do a lot of good because like if, if a small company fails, a small company fails. Once, once a company gets the size of, well, of a, a, a true triple A title, there is so much on the line um, and, and so much invested by not only the, 
like not only the investors, but the amount, the livelihoods and well-being of so many of those individual players. Anyways, let's come go ahead and focus down on the map here. Razor Moon gonna lose that one Moonwell. We see some gargoyles, frostworms going quickly after the Moonwells, making sure that there is real, really no home field advantage. Both moon walls are going to get taken down here, and now perhaps this tree of life will end up falling as well. No scroll of town portal. Finally, scroll of town portal inbound and coming across there as the goblin tinker adding in a little bit of well, damage across these buildings. Pocket factory, fan of knives right there. No drunken haze, breath of fire. Oh, there's that drunken haze. Are we going to see a breath of fire across all of those units? There's that breath of fire across those units there as the drives are trying to finish off some more of these units here. Frostworm's not going to be able to do very much against all of these dryads as the gargoyles are now trying to swarm their targets 78 supply compared to 69 razor moon in a little bit of trouble being backed up into a corner as duck able to continually push with these gargoyles and these frostworms taking down a bear as well goblin shredder looking to join in on the battle the obsidian statue is really healing up a lot of units as razor moon now up to level five will have access to level three breath of fire is level or level three phantom nice is phantom nice and breath of fire going to be enough to win out on this battle as that brewmaster seems to be trapped in a corner here does need to use a potion of mana more damage getting racked up 62 supply compared to 57 as we are seeing this damage racked up all over the place goblin tinker falls as the panda also falls as well at level four all right warden sitting at level five looking to rack up more damage there goes another there goes a, an actual frost worm as unit after unit is falling and at one point we had we were in high upkeep on one of the players and at the upper echelons of low upkeep and now both players are well down into the 30s range on their supply now back up into that low side as they're trying to retrain up those units all right is the warden with that home field advantage is it going to be enough trying to go after that obsidian statue is the blink going to be able to close in on that distance perhaps to get a shadow strike off one more final attack there there get the attack but the warden still 19 experience shy from level six once we get to well obsidian um, avatar of vengeance all bets are off on that damage there goes a phantom knives trying to rack up a little bit more damage potion of healing being used by that death knight getting back up to almost 1100 hit points dryad still dancing back around more units joining back out here onto the battlefield goblin shredder could easily get taken down here has to be very careful as the warden wants to come back around and try and save that precious precious target all right goblin shredder down to 64 hit points it does not look like it will be able to escape it gets taken down level five on the death knight nearly level six as we are looking at more damage getting racked up here all right level uh, dry getting taken down obsidian statue is it going to get taken down as well one or two more shots blink trying to get in that damage frost armor and it gets the level six as well warden drops an avatar of vengeance but there's no corpses off over here they're off all on the other side as the dry now trying to make their way over spirit of vengeance as are now joining out on that battle and those as, as the spirit of vengeance are going to be absolutely key we're going to look at a dead uh, well druid of the claw as we are now looking at anime dead on the dryads animate dead to counteract the avatar of vengeance spirit of vengeances as there are no more bodies out here on the battlefield to try and convert these spirits the avatar of vengeance is losing his power i had never realized that the death knight's ultimate ability is a counter to the warden's ultimate ability all right battling it up back and forth abomination about to get taken down as um well the dryads are getting in quite a bit of damage there's a death coil there as well saving that abomination again as the goblin tinker now making its way back around razor moon down to 35 supply the spirit of vengeance is their time life not going to last very long as the death knight may be able to break free just because of the timing on all of these units. Staff of Preservation saves that Dryad there as the units are now trying to retreat back. Breath of Fire blowing over Goblin Tinker and some more units as the Gargoyles are still making their way back around. Goblin Tinker does have a Scroll of Town Portal Death Knight trying to stay just within side Scroll of Town Portal range as the Night Elf does have multiple bases over his opponent. Razor Moon should be able to bounce back faster as we see also a Tree of Life being built on the bottom left hand side of the map oh that is an at this is an absolutely crazy game so far lich sitting now at level five <coughs> so much is currently mining 14 gold a second compared to razor moon's 30 gold a second nearly double as the main gold mines are about to run out 
All right, it is going to be two gold mines to one here. Ancient of Wonders about to be finished here as well. Does a duck know that his opponent has such a large economic advantage that is the question at hand razor moon with more gold in the bank and a decent sized army but well he's getting pressured once again duck bringing in the battle once more and ready to well push against this tree of life where is the army of the undead is the warden perhaps going to head off to the north and use the graveyard against his opponent to try and put pressure on that main base big frost nova going down across all of those wisps as well as the lich is now well gaining a little bit more experience all right down to the south side here attempting to take down this gold mine there is a cancellation tree of life getting canceled here and well where are we in terms of mining no more mining in the main base this guy gold mine not uh, nothing there either meanwhile razor moon still holding this northern expansion while this one by duck only has five thousand gold left about eight minutes of mining undead army already on the way over to try and shut things down 65 supply compared to 66 as another goblin shredder about to be cleaned up all right un blue army trying to make its way back off to the north get in the position right here and here we are ready to go tree of life already in in trouble and razor moon who had the economic advantage for so long suddenly gonna find himself on zero basis panda now joining in on the battle gargoyles coming in from the side here as we see the avatar of vengeance gargoyles going after the dryads what is going down here as the dryads trying to back away spirit of vengeance is going to be joining out on the battle death knight could try and use the animate dead again as the warden is trying to rack up more damage against some other units as well all right blinking back away warden where is he going a panda now in a bit of trouble down to 300 hit points down to 257 trying to get some attacks and gets a staff of preservation for the save spirit avatar of vengeance plus spirit of vengeance is against all of these flying units that is so much damage getting racked up again and again all right frost from trying to make its way back around there's a death coil heal but it's not going to last for very long as it gets quickly shot out of the sky 52 supply compared to 40 army of night elf slightly larger at this stage but he does not have any real mining going on as this gold mine is still being entangled once more more damage getting racked up against these units obsidian statue could easily get cleaned up here down to 153 hit points as that well as units need to well pick off all of these trailing undead as it's trying to retreat back away doesn't look like it's going to work out well this one obsidian statue down to 136 and will try and rejoin up with the army comes across the warden and here we are is going to stay alive down to 138 hit points and it is still somehow staying alive here one abomination down another abomination going to get taken down and well one obsidian statue down that is 11 supply gone in an instant so much now in so much tr or st duck now in so much trouble 33 supply compared to 46 breath of fire going across all the heroes here avatar of vengeance or uh, warden now in trouble is going to be able to blink away yes it is able to blink away staff of preservation for the save panda still trying to fight its way through more damage getting poked back across as does our avatar of vengeance is still causing problems lich potion of lesser invulnerability staff of preservation for the save there warden down to 118 hit points death knight is it trying to catch up yes it is death coil is going to find that warden warden could still blink away here and in order to dodge that death coil as the warden and well surviving ever so barely meanwhile lich able to use a scroll of town portal to get back as well as we're looking at another abomination about to get taken down all right another abomination taken down we are now going to be down to 32 supply as this gold mine off to the side is going to get cleaned up rather easily all right more mining happening here the lead changes going back and forth so often acolyte gonna get cleaned up here warden does not have a scroll of town portal has a staff of preservation and a staff of teleportation and that is it goblin tinker now joining in here warden gonna try and hide there's a drunken haze breath of fire across all of those units as this content gold mine needs to get cleaned up warden blinking but still taking the damage staff of preservation dodges the auto attack from the goblin tinker as the attacks are still getting underway here panda drunken haze breath of fire across all of the death knight and all of the heroes here trying to rack up more damage no obsidian statue so that damage will start to stick as the as the content gold mine is still getting repaired and is still okay lich 
in a, a tough spot, gonna get a death coil for a 600 hit point heal as the Goblin Tinker realizing, wait a second, I can't get healed by that Death Knight's death coil trying to dodge away. Clockwork Goblins looking to finish off this Tree of Life here. Acolytes now mining off of that second base once more as a new Tree of Life trying to be built on the top right hand side of the map. Warden well, ready to bring in the bring in the damage again. Panda sitting at level 5. There's that Avatar of Vengeance ready, um, ready once again, once more. Do we have enough corpses here? That is the question for this Avatar of Vengeance to really make her presence known. All right. There's some... Um, um, well, there are some more corpses out here on the battlefield. Warden now going to try and engage. Tree of Life could end up getting taken down. There's a, well, Frost Nova straight up onto that Brewmaster. Brewmaster taking quite a bit of damage. Is he going to get Staff of Preservation back out? Yes, he will. A Warden now being forced to retreat back. We're going to see a Rejuvenation. No, no Rejuvenation. Dryad's getting taken down as well. Spirit of Vengeance trying to fight back. There's a Shadow Strike onto the Lich. And, well, that was a retrain. Yes, that was a, once again a retrain onto the Lich, uh, on, into Shadow Strike as Phantom Knives no longer that necessary spirit of vengeance and now animate dead being brought online dryads being brought back over that damage over time still ticking away brewmaster down to 122 hit points still in this fight needs to get a rejuvenation from that druid of the claw what is that panda looking to do here as the warden could get a shadow strike off onto the death knight death knight scroll of town portal gonna try and tick away and that question is whether or not that damage over time will be enough no buys a potion of healing and he would not have died well nope i take it back he would have died falling below 300 hit points but the goblin tinker does fall at level three D anime to dead those dryads still alive obsidian statue could end up getting easily taken down avatar of vengeance still here trying to sp summon up more spirit of vengeances the tree of life down to 54 hit points but still holding on ever so barely as the abomination well trying to get back away 35 supply compared to 43 still no clear winner as the death knight is nearby and currently invisible death knight shows up death coil frost nova onto the warden warden trying to get back here abominations getting cleaned up there is a staff of teleportation warden going to be able to teleport back home and perhaps heal back up with the help of a druid of the claw all right lich continuing to finish off more of these units acolytes getting taken down no more free gold as that tree of life is still attacking away no one really bothering to finish off that tree of life down to 42 hit points as the abomination could easily just well tap down that unit and finish it off all right abomination well going to town after all of these units here as more acolytes are coming back over level five on the panda drunken haze breath of fire more damage getting racked back up lich is now at level six dark ritual uh, readily available here as that damage is slowly adding in more and more no death and decay for that lich instead going for all of the battle abilities here all right warden is he going to try and save this brewmaster brewmaster down to 320 hit points more shadow strikes going down onto the death knight death knight now could be in trouble trying to dodge back away but well, the frost armor and the slow attacks from that nerubian tower really starting to um, add back up panda does have not does not have enough mana for a breath of fire staff of preservation for the save as the death knight taking some um well, taking a little bit of damage here there goes a frost nova onto the panda and the panda now falls at level five. All right, Druid of the Claw could be in some serious trouble. Are we going to get a rejuvenation on that Druid of the Claw? We are. Warden needs a bit more mana. Gold still being mined off to the north. And Undead able to mine on the bottom left, taking that gold advantage lead. All right, gold advantage lead will be there for another minute. Um, as Actually, I take it back. No gold advantage lead as there is... Two bases mining on both sides. Uh, Duck only has about 40 seconds of mining left here. Meanwhile, Razor Moon having about three, a little bit more than three minutes of mining down to the south. Razor Moon currently staying in no upkeep, trying to build as big of a bank before going into low upkeep there. But not going to be able to easily do that as the undead is already ready to put in pressure warden coming in from the side here there's a blink there's a shadow strike there's a death knight um, of what death coil frost nova both sides racking it up warden potion anti-magic shell going after the death knight death knight now using a scroll of town portal in order to get away goblin tinker could end up getting taken down down to 91 hit points that little haunting devil damage is it going to finish him off down to 66 down to 37 down to 30, 40 one and no potion of healing just in time you I, I don't even see when he used that potion of healing but he did use that potion of healing and dipped below 300 hit points which is the magic number on on how much he needed to heal anyways coming back through was it 250 oh. 
coming back through around. All right. Tomb of Relics about to get shut down here. Bears are in position. There's a big roar. Avatar Vengeance trying to well, take down this Tomb of Relics. Staff of Teleportation inbound. Panda still not fully resurrected. Warden now inside here. Shadow Strike onto the Death Knight. Death Knight could be in some big problems. Meanwhile, the Druids of the Claw are in some problems as well. There's some more roars as the Dryads are trying to poke apart some more damage. Staff of Preservation saves a low hit point. Bear Goblin Tinker falls at level 3. And now the Death Knight could fall as well. Death Knight now down to... Well, no. Well, was that a Death Pack? Yeah, Death Pack in order to get back up to full hit points. Not quite sure what he killed, but he was able to get back up to full hit points right there. Death Knight now down to 1,300 hit points, or 600 hit points, was at full hit points, still trying to get away. Death Knight... Um, continuing to dance around here. Death Pack not going to be usable for another couple of seconds. Is he going to be able to stay alive? Scroll of Town Portal, but he does have the Shadow Strike damage still stuck on him. Panda going to come back across. Breath of Fire could blow things over. Shadow Strike damage still racking up more and more as the Acolytes here are going to get cleaned up. A couple of Obsidian statues were too far away from the action, and that is going to be the game. Razor Moon outlasting Duck in a marathon match where Razor Moon actually had the overall lower score as Duck was able to get more high level heroes. But in the end, Razor Moon well, did more with, I no, he, he just had more resources. All right, so Razor Moon able to perhaps buy some more items. He had more resources, but not even buy much. It was the lumber harvested there. So take away that lumber advantage and the stats were pretty even throughout. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.